Hopefully it gives me a take off here. Yes. Alright. So, uh, let's go with... Ordnance. Enable. Fuel tank, 100%. <laughs> All right. A few things to start would be um toggle SAS mode. Stability augmentation system. You're gonna wanna set something for that. And what that's gonna do is uh right here you'll see Make sure my shit's plugged in. Which it is. Alright, so yeah, so dampening automatic. You'll notice the back wing moves as I change it. Dampening automatic level manual control. You want dampening on. For sure. It's gonna. Go behind your back as you're flying and make sure that the plane stays steady because you're in simulator mode, not realistic. And realistic, it's doing this for you. You don't know that it's doing it, but it is. Okay, then you have... Um, you're going to want to set an air brake. Flaps, all of that, of course. All right, and you're going to want... Drop bomb series. You're going to want fire air to ground missile. Has to be one. Air to air. Okay, you got to set that. That'll fire both thermal guided and radar guided. Fox 1 and 2 missiles can both be fired at this. And eventually, Fox 3. Drop guided bombs for whenever you get those. It needs to be sent. Weapon lock air to air. Okay, so that's for thermal guided. That's for anything that just has infrared. Weapon lock air to ground is anything that has guided bombs. You'll be using a camera. You can lock on to whatever you're looking at on the ground. Lock guided bombs is the is the button. All right, and this is where it gets good. So you're gonna have to have exit selected weapon mode set. You don't want to switch primary weapons because those are your machine guns. You should only have one primary weapon, like a machine gun. Secondary weapons are like missiles, bombs, rockets. You want to be able to toggle from your bombs over to your AIM-9, you know, thermal guided missile. Or you might want to switch from an AIM-9 gui thermal guided missile to a AIM-7 radar guided missile. You need to be able to switch between these weapons. So switch secondary weapons needs to be set. Countermeasures need to be set for flares. Okay, so, so far, stability augmentation system at the beginning. Switch secondary weapons. Weapon lock for air-to-air -air is your missiles you should have been already been firing. But then down here, this is where the radar is set up. This is the juicy part. So you need turn your radar on and off. If your radar is on, you will be popping up on people's you will be popping up on people's early warning systems. It's going to pick up your radar 
So if you're in a situation where you're trying to sneak into a place behind enemy lines, or you're trying to sneak back home, turning your radar off would be useful. You need change radar m mode. Okay. This is, um... On the right Already. side, you'll notice this. Source PD head-on. Source PDV head-on. Source mode. Source PDs. This is source pole stopper. This is what I recommend using. Source is good too, regular. It's going to change your radar mode. So that's... That setting is called... That setting is called change radar mode. Change radar IRST. Skip down to beneath that. Search mode is going to change how it looks for you. That needs to be set. Change scope scale. This is going to... On the right, you'll see it's 23 miles. Now it's 46 miles. Now it's 92 miles. I want it set to 92 miles. I want to be able to look out almost 100 miles in front of me at radar. Search mode. is This is 60 by 10. You get faster dings. Even faster dings with narrow. This is search mode. 6010 is pretty good. So we've changed your scope scale, radar scope scale, up to 92 miles. And those settings are called Right fucking fast. Right here. Search mode, R radar mode needs to be set change radar search mode beneath that change radar scope scale that's going to take you from 23 miles up to the maximum range of radars they're each different some of them go up to 200 something miles some of them only go 40 miles you need to be able to s scroll through it okay Lock radar. This is what you need to be set, and you need to be able to fly and fight. And you need to be able to turn and look around and be able to press this button. You'll press this, and this will lock a radar target. Once you press this, and it locks something that's popped up on your radar. Then you can fire air-to-air -air missile. Weapon lock is for thermals. That turns on a thermal missile. That It's a heat-seeking missile. Once that warms up and acquires something, then you can hit fire air-to-air. -air. That's firing a thermal-guided missile, a radar-guided missile has to be have a radar lock so you have to set this button up so first you have to radar lock it then fire air to air missile that's how to fire a, an air to air radar guide we're gonna do that right now show you what it looks like you can turn cockpit light on in here just a little more effort, and victory will surely be ours. Right there, I got something locked up in the sky out there. He's out there. I'm going to toggle on the top left using weapon selection. We set something for that. That's bombs. 
That's radar guided missile. That's thermal guided missile. I'm gonna switch to the radar guided missile. And again, we're gonna on the right look for that wing fighter. We're gonna lock it. Lock. Now the radar guided missile's away. And if that's a 92 mile range, he's about 30 miles away right there. We got 92 miles on the scope scale. And he's almost halfway from the bottom to the top of that right green radar. Also, we got some stuff right here. I'm going to abandon that one and do something closer right here. Yep, he's probably within 20 miles. We're going to go ahead and fire Lock. another one. We're going to hit the same target from earlier. Radar got a missile away, and I don't have to fly right at it. As long as it's locked up on that right side of the screen, that baby's going to keep on tracking. Now she's disappeared. You can't even see her, but she's still moving. If I bring it back in, you can see it here in the heads-up display. The green marked plane. That's He's radar locked. He has that green box. Oh, just kind of lost the lock. I'm trying to lock him up again. Over G. Over G. Yeah, right there. Radar locked. Lock. That's a radar guy to missile. He's not going to fucking. It's leading you on the radar. Boom. Over G. Altitude. Over G. Over G. Over G. Switch over to the GVUs. Switch over to my bombs. You'll notice the heads up display. Knows I'm in missiles, thermals. Knows I'm in radar guided. When I switch to the bombs, it gives me a heads up display bombing rec rectangle. I'm going to hit a little bomb run. You can see the battlefield back there. I can see where it's popping off. Over so we're going to hit something. Over G. And again, this is stability augmentation sets system is turned on. Let's see if we can spot something here. Like right, right there. Took it up there, we'll drop something there. And we'll drop one there. There's GBUs right there flying. Those are tracking. Gonna stay on that target. See if we can get a hit. Boom, boom. Over G. And we're heading back. Just like that. Get all these Over controls G. set. Again, one last time. Drop bomb needs to be set. Air to air missile needs to be set. Guided bombs need to be set. Weapon lock. Lock guided bombs. Switch secondary weapons. change radar mode switch radar on and off change radar mode change radar search mode change radar scope scale lock radar on target those all need to be set 